Hi guys, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. Before we get started, Sagittarius, I just wanted to share with you guys really quickly my new candle. It's called Joy. This is exactly what I've been feeling lately. I've been feeling super happy, just high vibrational, great energy, excited for 2022. I want to um, take the way that I've been feeling lately and put it into a candle. So I formulated Joy, okay? Inside Joy, you're gonna find carnelian you're gonna find copper and gold um the properties of carnelian and copper are really good for high energy high vibes so if you're interested in learning more about this you can visit the candle on my website and you can read all about it um this candle just came out so perfect do you guys see also the wick says joy it just came out perfect smells amazing and it's one of my newest candles and yeah i'm just ready for this new year also this is really big for me because not only that i also hit 50,000 subscribers on my youtube never thought i would hit this milestone honestly guys and i'm just so happy and so proud that us as a community have grown this big and it's only going to get better from here to celebrate with you guys i am doing a sale for five days only for 50k subscribers 50 percent off all of my dream candles if you want to try out my newest candle joy or if you want to try any of my older candles they're all smell amazing they're all great um any of my crystal candles 50 percent off up until friday this week and then the sale will be done so you want to take advantage because i never before have done this and i probably won't do it again <laughs> okay so yeah 50 percent off all of my candles you want to use the code dream 50 dream is going to be in all capital letters and in 50 um, and yeah, I posted it on my Instagram, so you can follow my Instagram if you want to see that code, if you need like to see it. But yeah, I hope you guys take advantage and I'm super excited. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. I could not ask for a better family than you and let's see where this year takes us, okay? All right, so we're going to get started, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. Hopefully you're doing okay, Saji. Like I said, I've been feeling joy. I've been feeling happiness, peace. Ugh, I just spit. <laughs> that was gross. Okay, first of all, too, if you're going to be holding a baby, lots of drool. Or when you wake up in the morning, drool on your pillow. And you don't usually drool, so you're getting some really good sleep. Also hear melatonin or another sleeping pill or weed. Like, you're getting deep sleep for some reason, okay? It could even be from a tea that you're getting some deep sleep. There's a tea that I recommend to people sometimes when they're having insomnia. It's called Kava. It's called Kava. It's a stress relief tea by Yogi. Yogi is the tea brand and it's the Kava one. The Kava one knocks me out. I don't know what the hell they have in that tea, but it knocks me out, okay? Anyway, sorry for almost spitting on you guys, all right? So let's get started. Let's see what's going on with my Saggies for the next 48 hours, please. What's going on? With my sadies for the next 48 hours. The song playing for you right now, I'm a little scared. It says, hit them where it hurts. Okay? You might be play fighting with someone and you actually hurt them. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny, but especially if whoever you're fighting with is a masculine, you might actually hurt this person to the point where they're in tears. I'm also hearing like emotionally you're hurting someone to the point that they're in tears over you. But you could also be play fighting and like be careful because you hit hard. You have heavy hands. All right. I don't know what you're doing, Saggy. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Let's get started, please. Oh, my God. All right, what's going on with my Saggy's for the next 48 hours? Give me some cards. What's going on with my Saggy's for the next 48 hours? Please give me some cards, Spirit. All right. Let's see. All right. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, yeah. If you do hurt someone, if you hurt someone emotionally or physically, physically by accident, emotionally by accident, but I also feel like Page of Pentacles in reverse, you really don't care. You don't care or you're not taking it seriously. Something you're not taking seriously, Sag. I don't know why, but we're going to see why. Okay, what else? Oh, God, Sag. Such a little devil. All right, let's see. Yeah, King of Cups. Oh, my God. It came out twice. King of Cups came out twice, guys. Okay. Okay, um, and it's like you're just laughing about it. You're like, hee 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 hee, sun card. It's funny. <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's not funny. All right, so you have a page of pentacles here. So you're just playing too much, or you don't, you could give a fuck, you could care less about something. 
and then like there's someone here king of cups but then they turn into the king of cups in reverse so maybe someone's feelings you're not taking in high regard this could even be your feelings if you're a masculine sagittarius watching me someone is just not taking something seriously about your feelings so there's a masculine here there's a pisces cancer scorpio who's hurt we're gonna see what's going on with that that's kind of shady okay it's kind of shady i have to say all right so let's see what's going on because i don't know if i agree with you sag i don't know what's going on here <laughs> what's the page of pentacles in reverse what is this about okay eight of cups is in reverse so huh so okay there could be someone that you could have had some dealings with and not good dealings like bad dealings I don't want to say drama. I don't want to. It could be drama, but I'm not. I'm just getting dealings, okay? And it's like they can't walk away from you. I don't know. This is giving kind of toxic energy, honey. Okay, so someone can't walk away from you or you can't walk away from someone. Or, okay, but someone's not taking the matter seriously. Like it's a serious matter here. I don't know. Okay, so it's like someone can't walk away from someone. They want to work things out. And the person who the per the other person can't walk away from is not taking it seriously. That's what I'm getting. All right, what is this, bro? This is your energy. So this definitely could be you, Sag. Okay, so what else is here? Seven of Cups, okay? So someone can't walk away from someone because they feel like someone just fits the bill. Someone is just like their perfect person or... You know, I don't know what this is. Like, someone feels like you are meant for them or you feel this way about this person. Like, this is my dream person, dream girl, dream guy kind of energy. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Someone's like, listen, I want to work things out. I feel like me and you are meant to be in this relationship. I see you in my life. Four of Wands, okay? All right, what's the Seven of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune, they feel like things can change. I don't feel like I should just walk away so easily. Someone could ask you that too. Like, do you, are you, are you just, is it so easy for you to walk away from me or walk away from this? Or you're asking someone that, like, is it that easy? And it's not easy for this other person to do that. They, they really got attached. King of Cups. So tell me about this King of Cups, please. Okay, Queen of Cups is in reverse. So yes, you and this person were in some kind of romantic relationship or relationship period. And like a commitment could have been. And it's like whoever the feminine is though, is like doesn't care. King, Queen of Cups in reverse or just being very like carefree or just kind of upset. What, why is the Queen of Cups upset? Why? All right, the strength card, okay? So... The Queen of Cups does have a lot of emotions. This Queen of Cups, if that's you, Sag, or that's your person, they're really holding back from saying what they really want to say. The Strength card, they do have a lot of emotions. They're just keeping it under wraps right now. Could be a very detached energy, whoever this Queen of Cups is, where they don't like getting to a place where they feel like they want to express their emotions because they could have angry emotions they could be angry about something so someone's like okay it's better for me not to say anything or to detach myself or just to end things completely because if I do have to speak about this I'm going to be really upset I'm going to say some things I might not want to say what's the strength card for why are they holding back Okay, the two of wands, really just trying to look at the bigger picture here too. So the queen of cups could be trying to be emotionally mature, but they're coming off very detached, okay? Um, tell me about this king of cups, you know, king of cups, okay, three of swords in reverse. King of cups is trying to, um, is trying to um, heal from heartbreak or is getting over heartbreak. What's the three of swords in reverse? Okay, king of cups came out again. I'm not lying. <laughs> who is this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or who is this? masculine um it's like they're trying to get over this heartbreak dealing with the queen of cups but they still feel very strong feelings for this person okay yeah the nine of pentacles it's like you know i'm trying to be whoever this masculine is it's like okay i'm trying to be very self-sufficient here i'm trying to be a big boy or a big girl because a masculine could be a feminine as well but it, it does hurt okay it does hurt that you, two of swords, that you guys aren't speaking right now or that the queen of cups, this feminine energy is not speaking, okay, right now. So what's the king of cups here in reverse? Oh, I don't like to see the king of cups like this. I feel like you really broke someone down, Sag, or if this is you, somebody really broke you down. 
What's this King of Cups in reverse, please? Two of Pentacles, okay? So, interesting. Is this the King of Cups, Two of Pentacles? Yes or no? Is this the King of Cups? Who's the Two of Pentacles? Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, so there's a masculine here who can't make a decision. And it breaks them down. Okay, so someone has a commitment somewhere. And someone wants to be somewhere else. Okay, so... Put yourself in that story wherever that fits, okay? Because the two of pentacles is here. It's like, I can't decide between two people or two things or I can't make a decision on something. The decision is the three of cups in reverse. I'm trying to make a decision to end a third party, but I can't for some reason, okay? So what's the two of pentacles about? Queen of pentacles, someone could be married. That was in your um, previous reading, Saggy. Or somebody could be in a deep commitment here with a queen of pentacles, someone who's a wife energy or someone that they've been in a long-standing relationship with it's just very hard okay tell me about this queen of pentacles page of wands okay hmm okay so page of wands is like a messenger energy with that wands energy i feel like someone knows about you too sag i really got that in the last reading but i'm trying not to piggyback off the last reading but someone knows something here okay how does the king of cups feel about the queen of pentacles Chariot, the okay, the King of Cups definitely wants to move on from this Queen of Pentacles, but that's the decision that's being hard for them to make here. Okay, so moving forward, anything else? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Cups is going to put, throw himself into work. You know, he's like, okay, let me just throw myself into work. Then I probably can ho hopefully get over this pain. Anything else? The lovers, but the, you know, this this strong connection is on their mind with the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, because the lovers is like a divine connection. That's the King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So if, you, if you're coming up as the Queen of Cups, Sag, or if you're the King of Cups, you have this person really strongly on your mind. If you're the Queen of Cups, this person is really thinking about you very strongly. Anything else? Clarify that lovers before I get the last word. Six of Pentacles. The thing is, though, this King of Cups still feels like, okay, Six of Pentacles, I can give to the Queen of Cups, I can give to the Queen of Pentacles, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. But no, that's not going to work. <laughs> well, it could work in some circumstances, but I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know, King of Cups. I don't know, okay? All right, so let's get the last words for <laughs> this, you know. So give me the <laughs> give me the last words, please, for the situation on Saggy's end. You know, last words for Saggy, please. Last words for Saggy. Last words for Saggy, please. Last words for Saggy. Manipulator. You could be dealing with manipulator. You could be the manipulator, okay? I'm not picking sides, okay? All right, let's see what else is here. I regret what I did, okay? That could be you, Sag. This is your energy or someone feels that way towards you. We also have friends first. So you and this person could definitely have been friends first, okay? Sorry, my nose itches. We also have cancer. You could be dealing with the Cancerian, okay? We also have I'm horny, <laughs> <laughs> Say you really cut this person off, Sag, as the storyline is showing, you could miss this person sexually, okay? What else do we have here? We have celebrity status. Okay, you're really high status right now. I don't know what this is, but you're leveling the fuck up. This could be in your career. This could also be in your community, okay? We also have toxic family right here. So maybe your family is being a little bit of a burden on you these days. Um, you could be dealing with someone who has a family that's kind of toxic, okay? Um, sex could be better. We already talked about that. We don't have to rehash it, okay? Um, we also have breakup. So yeah, you and this person, you definitely broke up with this person or you and this person had a breakup. Um, winter is here. This could have happened in December or in the winter time is when you broke up with this person for sure. Or when that disconnect has started. Excuse me while I itch my wig. All right, spoiled brat, okay? So you could be your way or the highway. Remember I said someone is their way or the highway? Hmm, or stubborn. 
No, I didn't say that in your reading. Sorry, I had personal readings today. <laughs> Maybe that person I was doing a personal reading for was a Sag. But definitely someone is my way or the highway or really just being a little bit selfish right now, you know? It could be that maybe they let a lot of things slide in the past. Now they're being selfish or someone's just selfish and stubborn, period, you know, and there's no backing behind it. They also have fake page. So someone could definitely be watching someone from a fake page. Could be that Queen of Pentacles, okay? It could also be that King of Cups or the Queen of Cups, depending on what the situation is here, okay? So now we're going to go into your homeboy, homegirl. Let me just write something down really quickly. All right, let's see. Um, yeah. All right, Spirit. For whoever is on, for whoever, yeah, Break It Down is playing right now. Honestly, guys, Break It Down is playing right now. Remember I said someone, is, I said that. I said, like, this King of Cups is breaking down, or I said something like that. I don't know. Anyway, for whoever is on Saggy's mind, their homeboy, homegirl, what's going on with them for the next 48 hours, Spirit? What's going on with them for the next 48 hours? What's going on with them for the next 48 hours? Okay, Queen of Pentacles, okay. There goes that Queen of Pentacles. Judgment, okay, what else? Whoa, okay. Hangman in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Interesting, okay. The Justice card is here, so karma has to be made right in this situation for some reason. All right, so tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. So remember I said there's a Queen of Pentacles. It's like a third party going on, I have to say it. And whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, I don't know if that's you, Sag. It's definitely whoever this person is, whoever they have a commitment to. So if that's you, then you're the Queen of Pentacles. But this Queen of Pentacles definitely wants their commitment to stay or they want to work that out okay queen of pentacles is here so clarify the queen of pentacles there goes that queen of cups so this queen of pentacles has the queen of cups on their mind okay why why page of wands that's the exact thing that came out earlier so this this queen of pentacles is very aware of this queen of cups they got messages from this they could have been messaging each other or they've heard, they got messages of this Queen of Cups. But they also know that things have ended, that the Queen of Cups is is has their back turned towards this person, whoever else is in the mix. What else? Okay, King of Swords could be an Aquarius in the mix. G um, Libra, <laughs> Gemini, okay. Um, but yeah, also too, what is this? Okay. What's the what's the King of Swords? Two of Cups. Okay, so definitely this Queen of Pentacles is in a relationship with this Aquarius or with this King of Swords. So some of you guys I'm speaking to are in same-sex relationships, so I don't want to confuse anyone here. But there's a masculine King of Swords energy in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's also a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Queen of Pentacles, that person that they're married to or been in a long-standing relationship with. They're in a relationship, but someone knows about this Queen of Cups or this third party, okay? All right, so whatever. What's this Judgment card, please? What's this Judgment card? All right, the Justice card is here, okay? So... Now is the time that someone has to make up their mind about what they're going to do. I honestly feel like there's definitely a third party here. Someone doesn't know how to decide or make a decision. There's this person that you're dealing with, Sag. They're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. But now I have to do something because, you know, I'm the hangman in reverse. It's time. Also, the judgment card means that it's time. So it's like I have to make the decision and I have to be fair or I have to do what's right. The justice card. So what's what's the judgment? All right, so we have the moon card. Hmm. I also feel like now it's time because the cat's out the bag. Like someone knows about someone else. Like someone knows, okay? What's the... What? Page of Cups in reverse, okay? What else? Queen of Wands, okay? That's you, Sag. So, hmm. Almost seems as if you don't care what decision this person makes because you're out of it or you're just not 
a part of it anymore. Page of Cups in reverse. So you don't care. Make your decision. Almost as if that's going to be the decision because you exited yourself out of this situation. So, you know, you don't have to make a decision. Decision is made. What's the hangman, please? Why is the hangman in reverse here? Like, what's up with this person? Could be a Pisces in your energy. Could be an Aries with the judgment card. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, okay? Um, Seven of Pentacles, this Pisces or this this person, whoever's stuck doesn't know who to decide on. They don't know who to invest in. They're like, ugh. Or they, they're, they are like, I can't leave my investment with my long-term person, okay? What's the Seven of Pentacles? So I guess in the in the extended I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to ask how this person feels towards the Queen of Cups, whoever that is, and whoever the Queen of Pentacles is, whoever they have a long-standing relationship with. Okay, Seven of Swords and the um, Judgment card is here, you know? It's like a decision is made, but there's still some sneaky behavior or someone someone's intentions is still sneaky here. What's the Seven of Swords? Knight of Pentacles, okay? Like if someone was moving very slowly to make this decision is because they were being sneaky or something was happening in the dark here. All right, what's this Wheel of Fortune, please? What's the Wheel of Fortune? In reverse. The Ten of Swords. So nobody wins. The Wheel of Fortune is like, it's, it's like things are moving forward, but nobody wins because there's a lot of pain here. Somebody won't stop thinking about pain that they either they put someone through or that they are going through what's the ten of swords here ten of cups and someone's like okay like i'm hurting because i love i'm in love with someone so badly and that's over now i have to just move past it the four of swords or they feel like this is a break like they're gonna try to come back so someone's like okay even though i made this decision to move forward with this person i still have thoughts of going back to the other person four of swords Okay, because they don't feel like they won anything. The Six of Wands in reverse, they feel like, okay, this is not a victory. So, hmm, that's very interesting here. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or whoever this masculine is. In this situation, they feel very heartbroken over their decision that they had to make, okay? So, let's clean this up. Let's get this person's last words. And then we're going to um, go to the extended. And we're going to go deeper because this situation goes deep. I know it, okay? It looks like... There's a lot of things to be said, okay, from this situation. All right, so let's see. Last words, please. Last words for um, Saji's homeboy, homegirl, whoever this person is. Any last words they have to say for this situation, please? Any last words they have to say for the situation? Okay. Stalker vibe. So is this person the person who has the fake page on you? Are they <laughs> not funny? I'm sorry. All right. Anyway, we have I want to change for you. Okay. We also have I miss you is here. Okay. Okay. We also have I regret what I did. So you and this person both hit below the belt or did something that was just not right you guys both feel bad about it we have this friends first so you and this person definitely could have started off as friends first we have ho energy so this person definitely was acting non-committal for sure we have drugs okay drugs could be really big in the storyline okay um we have aries could be dealing with the aries um also or emperor or empress okay maybe even like a business owner we have i know you will hurt me we have ride or die, okay. And we also have two independents, interesting. They could feel that way about you or this is how this person acts, too independent. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. If you, if this, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say if you enjoyed this, <laughs> no. If this resonated, thumbs up the reading, comment a moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Um, please, um, I was going to say, oh, if you want to take advantage of that sale, the code and the link to everything is going to be in the description box down below. I do do personal readings. If you're interested, that link's in the description box down below. 
Um, what else? Oh, if you want to follow me to the extended, because I want to see how this King of Cups feels about the Queen of Pentacles, how they feel about the Queen of Cups. If you're interested in that, we're going to take that in the description box down below to the extended and see so much more in the outcome of the situation. And yeah, that's all, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 50,000. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.